Hey, what's up? We're going to go over the lesson portion of the section trigonomic functions of angles. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this section, we have three main components that we're going to go over. And looking at this first component, what we're being asked for is to be able to find the six trig functions given an X and Y coordinate. So the way we're going to get started is we're going to graph this X and Y coordinate negative four, three that's given on a circle. Okay. Wherever it lands. So if the coordinate is two comma one, you know, you, this would be gone and it would be like proportionate two comma one. It, the dot would be right there. So let's stick with negative four comma three, and we're going to create a triangle between this dot and the origin. So you can see how it creates a leg like that, the hypotenuse of the triangle. So now the way I look at it, we can create a triangle like this or a triangle like this. We always want to choose the triangle that creates a reference angle of this corner angle here with the uh, origin. Okay, what I mean by that is reference angle is the angle between this hypotenuse and the x and the closest x axis leg. So you see this line, we want to create an angle between this and the closest x axis leg. Okay. So then we're going to complete this triangle, including the base like that. And we're going to get rid of that because we don't want to create that triangle. Okay. So this reference angle will be our theta. Okay. And we just need to complete the lengths of the legs here. So if this triangle is negative four, three, Negative four is the X distance here. See, it's negative four and then a rise of three. So this is going to, we're just going to call that negative four. And we're going to call this three. And if you do Pythagorean theorem, you'll see that um, three squared plus negative four squared, uh, the square root of that is five. So we have the hypotenuse leg of five. All right. Now, in order to do these six trig functions, we are going to use this reference angle here. So sine of theta is so, S-O-H. So sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That's it. Sine of theta is three-fifths, okay? And we can complete cosecant easily because it is the reciprocal of sine. It is H over O. So it will be H over opposite, five thirds. Okay, now let's complete the rest. So cosine of theta is Ka from Sokotoa. So A over H. So A is negative four over H is five. And secant is the reciprocal of that, which is negative five fourths, like that. Okay. Tangent theta is toa, opposite over adjacent. So you have opposite over adjacent. Okay. And then cotangent is the reciprocal of that. So you will have adjacent over opposite. Okay. So the next concept here is finding the reference angle for a given theta. All right. So the given theta is negative 130 degrees. So let's take a look here. If we have an angle of negative, it's going to be the same uh, size of angle. It's just going to go in the opposite direction. So it's going to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Okay. So negative 130 starting from zero is going to go 130 degrees in the opposite direction. You see? So we've graphed this negative 130 and we need to find the reference angle. If you remember here, we discussed reference angle is the closest angle between this leg, 
this hypotenuse, and the nearest x-axis, which is this one. You see? There's an x-axis here, x-axis here, but we're going to choose the closer one. This angle here in blue, we'll call it phi, is what is considered the reference angle for this problem. So we just need to find the size of that. So if you see here, the angle between here going halfway around the circle is 180 degrees. You see, this portion is 130 degrees. So if theta plus phi, theta plus phi is equal to 180 degrees, and we know that theta is, well, in this case, I wrote theta equals negative 130, but in this equation, I'm using it as a positive. So it's 130 degrees plus phi is equal to 180. That means that this remaining portion, this phi, has to be 50 degrees, which is the reference angle for this problem. Lastly, we're asked to evaluate a trig function given an angle without using a calculator. So the first thing we're going to want to do is graph this on our unit circle here. So tangent of negative 240. So let's first start with where this angle lies on this circle. So Negative 240 is going to go this direction. However, we know that it's more than 180 degrees. So we know that it's going to go actually past here. But by how much? If going this much is negative 180 degrees, it needs to go an additional negative 60 degrees in order to find its final location. So this is negative 240 degrees, okay? But if we take a look at this, we only want the reference angle, all right, in order to complete our triangles. So we are going to use this triangle here, and we're gonna use this piece of angle as our reference angle. So if this total is going negative 240 degrees like that, and this portion is negative 180, this size of chunk is actually 60 degrees. Okay, so now that we have a triangle with 60 degrees, okay, we can create the proportions of this triangle um, given special right triangles, okay? Um, so for a six, if this is 60 degrees, then this will be 30 degrees like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is call the hypotenuse, it's gonna be a distance of two, and the one opposite from 30 degrees is going to be one, and this will be root three, okay? So this proportion is from a 60, 30, 90 right triangle, okay? So given these side proportions, you can see actually this one is not a positive one, but it's actually a negative one because it's going in the negative x direction. But the root three is going positive, so we're gonna leave that positive here, all right? So now in order to evaluate tangent of this angle, we're going to evaluate tangent of this triangle created by the reference angle, okay? So tangent of negative 240 is the same as finding the tangent of 60 of that triangle created by the reference angle. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be root 3 over negative 1.
that is equal to tangent of negative 240. Okay, now that we got all the concepts down, let's do some practice problems. See you in the next one.